Alrighty, this is my 1981 Toyota pickup SR5. This has the idle cut off, fuel cut off solenoid right there, and I've pulled the pins and I've hot wired it. <clears throat> the problem I was having is at idle sometimes it would start missing, and then also upon load taking off it would kind of <clears throat> and wouldn't quite go. And then last night on the freeway, it started just shutting off randomly. So what can happen is, on California models, I don't know if this is on non-California too, there's this little emissions computer. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. And from a couple forums, they say that the cold solder joints can go bad and it loses a ground or it loses power. I can't remember which one, but this morning by jumping it straight to power, and I could hear it easily activating. Things running like a top. It's not slowing down. It's not having any trouble. And I tested it both just totally cold as well as testing it once it warmed up. And I had to reconnect this with all the other pins because I believe that controls the choke because it was sitting at 2,000 RPM. And then once I pulled the pins, hot wired, plugged it back, idles down, nice and smooth. Can see where maybe 700 or something like that but yeah it has new cap rotor spark plugs wires new voltage regulator and alternator new air filter all the basics were taken care of new oil and all that um, no fuel filter yet which I definitely could use one but this thing's running fine so I'll definitely replace it but to anybody who's having trouble it's gonna be uh, black white is ground and then uh, black is power to the right hand side of the harness but to double check this you can um, ohm out from ground to the black white wire and it'll only have a connection to ground when you key on because that activates the emission computer and then um, you'll see 12 volts there when you key on and off so you can kind of reverse engineer it by that and you can also follow the two lead little pigtail right there to the solenoid so it should be pretty easy to figure it out and you can also use the Haynes manual it's pretty well written and the schematics pretty accurate at least for my 81 SR5 California model so yeah I hope this helps someone dealing with random cutouts or idling and yeah what a pain in the ass to figure it out but at least it's running really well now